Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to look at installing Pomuk as a GUI package manager on top of Arch Labs. Now, this would work for any Arch Linux. Um, I'm particularly just running Arch Labs. Now, of course, uh, we have Pac-Man in this, uh, which is a package manager from the command line is absolutely beautiful. It works great. And if you know exactly what software you need to install and you're not going to be poking around with other software packages, just keep using Pac-Man. But there's times that you want a GUI pa uh, package manager and so Pomuk is one of the best that we are going to get inside of the Arch world. If you're familiar with Manjaro, you'll recognize Pomuk as the uh, as the repository or the, uh, excuse me, the manager inside of all of your Manjaro builds. If you're not as familiar with Arch or Manjaro and you are familiar with Debian, this would be very similar to your Synaptic package manager. So that's kind of what we're going to install. Now, one of the caveats is that most of the, uh, most of the um, instructions will have you install Yeart first, but that package is no longer being maintained. And so there's been, you know, so, some calls to move towards another one. So we're going to use Yay, which is another Arch user repository helper. And uh, we are going to attempt to install Pomuk on top of Yay. So the first steps, if you look on the uh, right of the screen here, I have some steps that you might need to install. You might need base dev, git, wget, and yeajal. But uh, in this case, Arch Labs has these, so I don't need to do this step. Uh, if you, if in doubt, just go ahead and run this command. Uh, it's going to try and install these. If they're already installed, hey, there's nothing to do. Second thing, we were going to go into a temp directory, so I am already in a temp directory. And then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, get clone, and we're going to grab our uh, yay. So aur dot arch linux dot org forward slash yay dot git we are cloning into it there we are now we're going to directory into there and make the package okay so this should be able to make the package it's running checking dependencies hopefully I have everything if not then we'll just have to go in and figure some things out So yes, we're going to proceed with the installation. Our little Pac-Man over there is uh, eating up our little uh, Pac-Man dots as we are downloading what we need. Okay. So I went back to the classic, I hit the none in this case. It was uh, needing information that I wasn't sure what we needed there. So it says sources are ready, it says it's building. Okay, so it does say that it is done. Let's go ahead and see if we have this. So we do have software updater and add and remove software. Let's see what we get. All right, now we have Pomuk. So we can come over here. Let's go ahead and look at our preferences. It wants my password. So here I can enable the Arch user repository if I want to. But otherwise, everything seems to be working. Of course, you can see I have some updates I want to run. Let's go ahead and apply some updates. And so now we have Pomuk installed on top of our Arch system. And we are not using the depreciated Yaoart system. We are using Yay instead. So let me know if this video is helpful. And uh, my apologies if I pronounce things incorrectly. I don't live in the Arch world quite as much as I live in the Debian world. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. And uh, check out some of the other videos on the channel. 
Thank you for making it to the end of this Switch to Linux video. You can have a look at another video right on over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or to Think Life Media, which is my own personal support page. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.